sixth grade. This is Mr. Lee, and this is your homework video on area, perimeter, triangles, parallelograms, rhombuses, and trapezoids. <laughs> Alright, so that is the party club who's helping me make this video. But right now, let's get this down. Let's review. The reason why we're doing this homework, I'm going to review everything we just learned over this last week. James, it's like I need you guys to memorize this or, or something for AZ Merit. So here we go. Area. Area is this. Area is the amount of surface space that a flat object has. It's the inside of a shape. Area is reported in the amounts of squared units. Pause the video and get this down. Hey, welcome back, and here we go. So, the next part, if you can get this down, when you measure the amount of a carpet to cover the floor of a room, you measure it in square units. Would the area of your bedroom or the area of your house be greater? What would be bigger? Well, let's think about this. OMG, you're right. If you said the area of your house is greater than the area of your bedroom, you got that right. So here's something I need you to draw. I need you to draw this out. We did this on Friday. And let's find the area of this surface if each square is equal to one foot. Count the numbers of squares. So pause this video and draw this pattern. Hey, welcome back. You just finished drawing this out. Let's count it off. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. We got fifteen squares. That tells us then we have 15 square feet. Area equals six, 15 square feet. Pause it right here and get this down. Welcome back and let's go on. Try this one. Count the number of green squares to determine the area of this the area of the surface. What's the area? Can you guys please draw the screen pattern down? So, we got this. This looks a lot like one of the shapes that we've done. We've got three length and three width. So inside we've got one, two, three, four, all the way to nine. Our area is going to be nine square units. So draw this out and get this down. Welcome back. Let's go on. Let's do this problem together. The problem is going to be this. The neighbors build a swimming pool. This is what the swimming pool looks like. Family A. And again, this looks a lot like what we went over last week. Jeez. Mysterious club member, what would you like to ask? Anyway, mysterious club member is mysterious and shy. So let's just go on with Family A. Family A has this swimming pool. Family B has this swimming pool. So draw these two swimming pools together. We're not together, just draw them. All right, here we go. Which family has the bigger swimming pool? So guess what? We've got to find the area. And mysterious guess member, how would we find the area? Yes, it is. If the microphone's not picking up because, again, they're mysterious and shy, but here's what you're going to write down. The 
angle of forming A is this. It's eight squares. Because it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What's B? It's seven squares. Let me move my recorder real fast. There you go. Therefore, family A is pulls the bigger one because it has more squares. Now let's look at the same two pools. Which family has more side panels? There's this side panel and this side panel. There's three up on top, there's two on this side, one on this side, and three on this side. The perimeter is 12 units long. Now, with swimming pool B, we have this side right here. And we count all this up right here, we get this. We get 14. So, which one has more to clean? Well, family B has more to clean. Make sure you get this down. Hey, okay, so let's go on. This video, by the way, is going to be cut into maybe two parts. So get ready because we're going to end this for part one here. Bye.